Hey, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to our channel. My name is Riki and I'm from India. Today, uh, we're going to print a six color simulated process on a black t-shirt. So let's see how this thing goes and um, let's begin. Okay, so right now I'm trying to print the first base, which is the gray color. And uh, this is slightly an advanced level screen printing uh, because it has a lot of details in it. And uh, that is why we want to start with the uh, gray base first. So we have already test printed all our frames and now we are ready to do production. So that is why we are straight away doing production right now. So what we want to do is flood the screen first nicely and since we are printing on a line cable we want to make sure everything is aligned and then we are going to do a pressure press that means we want to press a little bit and maintain that pressure all the way to the end of the design so we're going to do two pass for this Okay, so we have done the first coat and uh, as you can see all the details are so crisp and so nice around here. You can see all the small little details have already, it's already there, right? Uh, and since the base of, since the design uh, has grey base in it, so it was necessary for us to print the uh, print the base first the gray base first so this is just the first coat we might want to print uh, the second coat as well so before we do that we need to uh, do uh, the, the you know we need to dry the color and uh, and to do that we'll use a heat gun to partially dry it Okay, so we have done the first, we have finished the first coat. Now we are going to do the second coat for gray. So it has, so uh, we have enough colors to the foundation uh, so that the other colors can be printed with just one stroke. So we'll do the second coat for this. I've already flooded the screen. And right now, again, you need to apply the pressure, same amount of pressure all the way through the design. But this time we're going to do only one pass. Okay. So I'll quickly dry this and we'll see how the details are coming out right now after the second coat. Okay, so so we have finished uh, the second coat for the gray base. So you can see the details are now very opaque as compared to the first coat. You can see the details are even more, uh, it's coming out even more after the second coat. And this is exactly what we want for our base uh, gray or if, if you are printing brace, uh, base white, this is what we exactly we want. So we'll go ahead and print the second layer which is the white and uh, let's see how things goes out okay so we'll flood the screen first for this for white for white uh, we are we are going to uh, print only one uh, coat because we have already have a very good base so we just need one coat for the white so we'll flood the screen Again, you need to have a little bit of pressure and then all the way to the design. Okay. We we'll just clear the stencil. Awesome. So you can see now 
Because of the white and the combination of grey, we've got a very monochrome, very nice monochrome uh, design going in. And uh, this is possible because we did all the color separations in a very advanced level so that we have all these details you can see. I mean, you can see all the tiny little details, it's already there, right? So, so it is easier for us to print the, all the other colors after this and uh, get all the details right. So we'll quickly dry this up and then we'll hit the third color. Okay, we'll let it cool down a little bit because once you heat it up and once you uh, try to print, as soon as you heat it up, uh, you know, the, 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 the ink might get stuck in the other frame. So you want this to a little bit cool down. Maybe you can just put some air like this with your hand and make sure all the things have partially dry up. You know, don't directly touch on the design. You can touch on the sides. If it's dry up, then that's cool. So, yeah, I think we are ready to go and hit the third color, which is uh, orange. Okay, so now you can see the orange. Uh, uh, you know, according to the design, we needed these details. Instead of red, we we uh, we eliminate the red. But we, instead of red, we put the orange, so that you can see all these details around here. Now, if you if I focus here, you can see the hand part over here. That you know, it's giving that you know even over here as well. You know, um, it's giving a pretty good uh, effect uh, overall, I can say. So I think we are done with the third color. Now we can focus on the fourth color. We let it cool down a little bit because I'm only printing one t-shirt. So usually what happens is that in a line table, uh, once we print, the time when I come to the first print, it's already get, uh, you know, it's already uh, dried up and cooled down. So we can straight away print. But right now I'm printing and I'm drying and I'm printing. So I need to wait a little bit so that it dries up properly. It cools down a little bit. Otherwise, if it's hot, it might get stuck in uh, the frame of, of the other frames and it might spoil the whole print so I think now it's done so we'll go ahead and print the yellow <coughs> Okay, so now you can see um, that we have printed the yellow, uh, but I don't think you can make uh, make a difference that much. But you know, this is the amount of detail we want to put in, right? Even a tiny little bit of details. We could have skipped the yellow part, this frame totally different, but we wanted that small little details around here and on the hands as well so that it gives that overall shading that we want, right? I think this is very important as a printer. You need to decide what kind of frame you need. You need to decide whether which frame can be eliminated and or even like, uh, you know, merge together to have one frame. So in this, fr in this design, I decided to have both separately so that we have these effects. So I'll quickly dry up again. I'll let it cool down a little bit again. Okay, so we are done with the fourth color yellow. And now we're going to print the main highlight of this design, which is the green. So 
with the green what we'll do is it will bring out all the details in this overall design the rest of the things are more like an highlight so green is the main color i would say apart from white right so let's go and print the green so we'll flood the screen green we will have to do uh, two coats so that uh, it, we get that that effect wonderful so you can see the green is giving the entire design a different perspective right from that time so it's giving a new look it's giving the entire design pop up but this is just the first coat we need to have two coats so I'll quickly dry again Okay, we let it cool down a little bit again. Okay, so we'll hit the second coat for the green. Okay, so now you can see the green is now more vibrant and uh, this is what according to the design is, the artwork. So I think we have done a fairly good uh, job until now, so far I mean. So let's heat it up. Okay, so we're now left with the final color, which is cyan, and then we'll see how the things goes. But uh, we'll just let it dry, or let it cool down again for a while. Um, so in the meantime, I can tell you that uh, to achieve this kind of uh, to achieve this kind of print, a uh, few things are very important. One is the design. Second, uh, doing the color separation. If you are doing it manually doing it the right way there are a lot of methods to do this but uh, this is since this is an advanced level there are a couple of methods and uh, to do that and it is not easy at first but when you do it uh, over the time you will know how to adjust all the things and get a good result like this uh, and the second thing and the third thing is printing out on a transparency film and then burning it right so these are the four steps, very important, and rest, this printing is very easy once you have done the four steps perfectly. All right, so this is cool down now, I think. Yes, it is. So we'll hit the last frame, which is cyan. Fantastic. So the reason we have this cyan is because we have some parts in the design, as you can see, that uh, it is like an ocean blue, right? So with the combination of green and cyan, it gives that effect. So now let's try this up and let's see how things are looking. All right, so you can see the details here. Everything, all the details are coming out so nicely. The tiny little details. And uh, it has come out a very nice print. Uh, advanced level, you can say. 
Um, for some it might not be, but for many it might be very advanced level printing. And for those pros, uh, pro printers, it might be just another print job. Uh, but for those who are beginning, for those who are learning, this is very advanced level screen printing. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys like it and learn something new. And if you want to learn something else, like color separations, or if you're having some trouble in, uh, uh, in, in printing, you can comment down in the comment box. I will try to reply. And uh, do keep supporting this channel. And uh, in future, we are going to upload more and more videos so that you can learn this and uh, start your own business <coughs> start your own business or or maybe um, or you know just for hobby right so once again thank you so much this is ricky and have a nice day